Hello Techies, welcome back to Elfin Code channel and thank you for joining me today to discuss a very significant and very important topic which is impacting many IT individuals, the massive 2024 layoff. So today in this video we are going to see all those reason behind this layoff. Broadly these layoff are categorized under two major subcategories that is market dynamic and technology enhancement but further we can classify this under six different categories and in this video we are going to see all those six different categories the first is covid over hiring the second is recession impact the third is shareholder demands the fourth is project budgeting the fifth is performance improvement and the sixth one which is very important is the use of ai for the general use generative ai enhancement the first one is uh, covid over hiring so we have seen the impact of covid 19 on the it industry it was both challenging and opportunistic and it industries has massively hired people and there were a lot of demands for the it automation in every sector of the industries which prompted this over hiring of the people by it industries but post pandemic there were very different market dynamic due to n number of reasons which we are going to discuss in further points. Some of them were war-like situation in many parts of the world, the crude oil prices, the economy slowdown, which resulted in hold on of many projects. So all those overhired recruitment had to come to some conclusion and that resulted in, into the layoff. Second point is the session impact. I have seen many developed countries going into the recession phase and this recession has significantly impacted the IT industries. Organizations are prioritizing their cost cutting measures. The IT enabled services projects are already being, in, being delayed. There are a lot of projects which were cancelled. The industries are not ready to spend more on the innovation. They want to constrain themselves to this economic slowdown. All these are contributing to rethink about the hiring process, which also result in the massive layoff. The third point is shareholder interest. Though they are not directly contributing to the layoff, but they are indirectly contributing a lot in this layoff. They are those people who own a portion of the company and they are more concerned about the profitability of the company. They are more concerned about the stock price and the earning per share. So if there's any dip, in these, they may ask to take some kind of measure to boost up the confidence among the investors in the company. So those measures could be layoff as well. And they also have the say when it comes to merger and acquisition, restructuring and all those. All these are bringing down some of the post and contributing to the layoff. The fourth point is project budgeting. You have seen that many projects are not getting enough budget to proceed and majorly these projects are falling into the category of innovation, the architecture, the existing framework, technology innovation, enhancement and all those. These projects are not getting enough uh, you know, budget to proceed. It might be for the shorter duration but it is impacting at present and all those employees who are working uh, for these categories of projects are getting impacted. The fifth point is performance improvement. Here we need to ensure that we are upskilling ourselves towards the latest trend in the technology stack. We should not be sitting idle and just to sit on the technology on which we were working five years back or ten years back. We need to upskill ourselves. We need to keep up with the pace of the technology enhancement which is going in the market. Then only we can bring out the new ideas, the newer way of doing the same project and all, which will help us to reduce the impact of this layoff decisions. The last point is AI and the use case of generative AI. Now with the help of this generative AI, you can actually execute so many business cases. So earlier, human need to do all those ta tasks. Now with the help of this generative AI models, you can actually do a lot of tasks without involving any human in it. And it will be stimulating the human behavior also. This has the cap capability to do that. Now let's suppose if you want to create a kind of, you know, deck and mail it to your personal email ID and thereafter, uh, you know, post the meeting 
meeting you want to summarize the entire meeting uh, content so all those things can be easily done using the llm models so when all these things are available all those person who were involved to do all this thing won't be required correct so which will be resulting in layoff kind of situation so this is one of the reason which i can think of you know um, uh, uh, contributing to this layoff and finally i will be concluding in saying one thing despite this being the challenging period for those who are already laid off or impacted i will urge all those impacted uh, employees to take this as a challenge and move ahead with a positive mindset and for those who are still struggling with this uh, with this uh, kind of you know impacted situation please do check mental uh, health resources which are available online and always be happy and be in a positive mindset this is just one phase it will go off very soon upskill yourself that's all i can say thank you